What's good, YouTube, man? What's good, Raymond Flock? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. And the news we have all been waiting for is officially here. Lamar Jackson is officially a Baltimore Raven on a new long-term contract, five-year deal. Um, he's officially the highest-paid player in the NFL. Josina Anderson just released some of the contract details. I'm sure more will be coming out. But as we know right now, it's a five-year deal worth in total $260 million dollars. Um, so that's higher than Jalen Hurts, who got the 255, what was that, last week or week and a half ago. Um, and they, she said that the guarantee portion of the contract, total guarantees, right, um, is $185 million, which is also higher than what Jalen Hurts got. So Lamar Jackson is officially uh, a Baltimore Raven long term, and he's officially the highest paid player in the NFL. Um, this is wonderful news for the Ravens. It's obviously great news for Lamar Jackson, who stuck to his guns and got the deal that he ultimately wanted. Um, so this is beautiful news, right? Um, so the Ravens have been on the search for a long-term franchise quarterback for quite some time. Obviously, they had that time with Joe Flacco. Um, now, Joe Flacco gives some up and down play. Uh, I don't think we've ever really seen the play that we've gotten from Joe Flacco from like a Lamar Jackson, right? Um, I've said that he's the best offensive player in Ravens franchise history. And the, the idea of that kind of guy leaving the building... Never sat right with me. So I'm so glad that Lamar Jackson is back on this deal and that the Ravens can push forward, right? So, um, but we kind of seen this coming a little bit, right? Let's talk about that. Uh, you know, you had the smiling SpongeBob gift. You know, people say, is that is that DeAndre Hawkins trade? Is that him getting paid? It definitely seems to be him getting paid. Uh, Odell Beckham was tweeting yesterday. So that seemed to be about Lamar Jackson getting paid. So this is a big time deal. The front office got it done. Lamar Jackson got it done, right? All this talk about he needs an agent this and he's an agent that. He got paid $185 million guaranteed of some sort without an agent, with, with no money coming out of his pocket to an agent. That's big time, right? That can change the way quarterback deals are done. So not only is this a great move for Lamar Jackson, it's a monumental move for guys going forward, especially quarterbacks if they choose not to have an agent. Um, and listen, man, uh, I know that 185 is the guaranteed part, but there is no way I don't see the Ravens not keeping Lamar Jackson for the full into this five five year deal. So he's I feel like he's going to get that whole two sixty. So that's just, that's monumental, man. That's that's mind blowing. So shout out to Lamar Jackson for doing it his way, not folding. Um, he adjusted what he needed to adjust. He saw Jalen Hurts get paid. Said okay, cool. That, that's adjust to that number. He got more than Jalen Hurts. He's the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, and um, he's one of the best players in the NFL. So he fully deserves it. But let's talk about the timing of this deal as well, right? Right before the draft, right now, it's about 5 o'clock on the dot, right, when I'm, when I'm recording this video, okay? So the draft is in literally three hours. So for Lamar Jackson to sign this contract is big, but it also could mean that the Ravens are still in the market for DeAndre Hopkins. Now, the Ravens didn't have any cap space because of the franchise, the non scripted franchise tag and things like that. Well, Lamar just assigned this deal. They could change the cap hit. They can lower that number and give themselves space to potentially bring in DeAndre Hopkins. Now, listen, there's nothing guaranteed about it. DeAndre Hopkins will very well go to the Bills, can very well go to the Chiefs. Um, you know, Bills, Chiefs, Ravens, that's all three teams that he's been linked to consistently throughout this process. But um, this Lamar Jackson deal is big because it could mean that Hopkins is coming in. It also is just big because Lamar Jackson is now the Ravens quarterback going forward. And that's um, the most. That's really the most important thing. Now, we would love to have DeAndre Hopkins in the building, but the most important thing is Lamar Jackson got his contract, he got his deal, and that um, you know he's, he's a Raven, man. Um, he's seen excited in the video that, that the Ravens posted. Um, you know, I, I man, I, I'm speechless because it felt for a while that this thing was going south. It was going the other way. I mean, we just had a report. The other day about, uh, you know, John Lynch saying that the 49ers explored a trade for Lamar Jackson. Uh, we heard about Jim Ursay and the coach had a reported interest in things like that. So the fact that Lamar Jackson is here, a Raven, he had to go through a lot, a lot of rumors, a lot of people trying to badmouth his name. Right. Uh, but he stuck through all of that. He got his deal. He got paid. Uh, I know some people are going to say, well, he didn't get the fully guaranteed deal. But listen, man. It's kind of the same thing with Jalen Hurts, right? This is kind of what Calais Campbell was saying, right? That um, your quarterback, so you're likely going to be on the team for the full length of the deal. You're likely going to collect all your money. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's no guarantee in that, of course. But Jalen Hurts is likely to get his whole 255, just like Lamar Jackson is likely to get his whole 260 at the end of the day. 
Um, but at the end of the day, man, it's a great deal for the Ravens. It's a great deal for Lamar Jackson. Um, hopefully they can add DeAndre Hopkins to the mix. That will be even crazier. That would take this team really over the top, right? The Ravens with Lamar Jackson in place are a championship team. And this is big for so many reasons, man. So one of the reasons that that, that is big, of course, is the fact that Lamar Jackson will be in the building for OTAs, mini camp, training camp, to learn the new playbook that Todd Munkin has for him. Uh, for these weapons, for this new offense, right? I believe that Lamar Jackson is going to be very, very happy to get out of the shackles of a great Roman offense and be in a Todd Munkin offense that's going to be able to let, let him do more things that he wants to do as far as throwing the football and um, being that guy who, who you know, he, he can almost play point guard now, passing the ball around to his teammates, bro. Um, so I'm happy for Lamar Jackson. Um, he's a genuine dude. He said from the beginning that he wants to bring a Super Bowl to Baltimore. I believe that he can, and I believe that he will do that. We'll, he will deliver on his promise at some point. I do believe that. Uh, he's a special player. So, um, you know, shout out to Lamar Jackson, man. You know, a lot of people were saying, get an agent now and get an agent. But he stuck to his gun. He stuck to his gun. He had his advisors. He had whoever was in his circle communicating, helping him out. And um, listen, man, when it comes to these quarterback contracts, the main thing I've always said, too, is that usually the last guy, he tops that deal, right? So when Jalen Hurts came with his deal, it was only natural for Lamar Jackson to go above that deal. It was only natural. So um, the Ravens held up the end of the bargain by doing that. Lamar Jackson signed it. It's um, it's a big deal, man. It's I, I can't really overstate that. Um, you know, so Odell Beckham has been tweeting about it. All the Ravens are tweeting about it. So um, they know that with an elite player like Lamar Jackson, to me, no lower than top five quarterback in the NFL. Um, I'm not, you know, you can have your debates. I'm not going no lower than five. Um, it's a big deal that he signed that deal and that he's officially going to be here for the next, you know, five years. So, um, with the Ravens, uh, the draft is approaching it's in a couple hours. We'll see what they do with that 20 second pick now. Um, do they add a wide receiver? Do they trade it for DeAndre Hawkins? Do they add a cornerback, right? All things are open and available for the Ravens right now. Um, we don't have to hear no more talking rumors about are oh, the Ravens interested in Anthony Richardson or they interested in CJ Stroud. Like, we can cut all of that out. We can cut all of that out. Lamar Jackson is here to stay. Uh, we got a bunch of um, just exciting news going on, bro. Just a bunch of exciting news. Um, Lamar Jackson is the is the um, the thing that makes this offense go, the thing that makes this team go, right? So he's an impact player. He's a leader. Uh, I'm just happy, man. So uh, give me your thoughts. Give me your reactions to the contract, man. I'm not going to keep you all too long because uh, I do want to uh, get back inside. Um, and just, you know, just, you can look at social media. I'm about to eat something, and, you know, we're going to chill out, bro. You know, so this is good. We can take a step back. We can We can breathe freely. Knowing that Lamar Jackson is going to be here, the deal is locked up. There's nothing else to worry about on that front. Um, and listen, draft night just got a lot more interesting. Do the Ravens make that move for DeAndre Hopkins? Uh, Pac-Man Jones has been on it again, talking about um, you know Hopkins is going to be something that's going to happen today. And I don't believe in coincidences, bro. I don't. So for Lamar Jackson to get his deal done today, DeAndre Hopkins for Pac-Man say a deal is going to happen for DeAndre Hopkins today. I don't believe in coincidence, man. I believe that something could be happening for DeAndre Hopkins to be a Raven. Uh, we'll see. But even if he's not, the most important thing is that Lamar Jackson is going to be a Raven for the next five years. The Ravens have locked up their franchise QB after many uh, months, years, of uh, going back and forth from contracts. And listen, man, one last thing. I'm not telling him to get out of here, but one last thing. People were saying that Lamar Jackson was losing himself money, this and that, that, No, he never lost himself money. He actually improved on the offer that he got back in September. So Lamar Jackson made money. So listen, man, uh, he did it his way. He got the deal that he wanted. He got the deal that, you know, uh, is also going to help the team out. So it's it's a win-win for everybody. Um, I'm, I'm excited for Lamar Jackson. I'm excited for uh, the Ravens, obviously. And um, I can't wait for the season to get started. Maybe some more exciting news come tonight. But... Um, even if it doesn't, and Lamar Jackson is the most exciting news of the night that made the whole draft night right there. So shout out to the Ravens, shout out to Lamar Jackson, QB1, um, eight ball, man. So uh, give me your thoughts, give me your, your comments about it, man, your first reactions to it. And I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabe Rogers on the Fan TV. I'm out.